Here are some of the latest and greatest videos from Wingsound.com's user community. And we've been super impressed over here at Wingsound.com from the people just wanting to share their music production techniques and tutorials uh, with everyone else here in our community. And, and the uh, amount of knowledge just being shared is incredible. It's, it's too. infinite. It's infinite. Really cool tricks that you guys are coming up with. And we'd yeah. love to see more of your videos on the site. Remember, if you're a video creator and you want to see your uh, music production videos and tutorials on a site being shared with a community of like-minded people, come share them right now. Wingsound.com. Loot on Yukon creates a custom waveform using the Ableton operator. So first we want to make our basic sounds. And I have operator open here and it's record enabled. And let's hear the sound. <laughs> So it's a simple sine wave with um, basically an instantly on envelope and it's going off pretty quick. So it's not really that interesting a sound, just a sine wave. And I want to make it a little more rich, uh, have a little more interesting timbre. So switch over to the oscillator section in operator here and I get this pencil icon and I want, um, you can see that it's a sine wave and I want to kind of draw my own waveform here. I'm going to right click and say odd. So I only get the odd partials. Um, and that'll give me kind of a square wavy kind of sound, which is a good starting point. And I'm just going to draw up and, and kind of just decay these out. And you'll see I get sort of a square wave here. Let's play that. Maybe it's a little too drastic. I'll try that. And maybe a little bit more in the upper end. We'll just kind of draw in some of this. Like that. Okay, so it's an interesting sound. Dave from BoinaBand.com shows us how to make a Just These style electro bass line in Reason. So right click Thor, make sure you are clicking Thor. And go Create, Screen for Distortion. There, you've already got a bit of distortion. But we want to play with the, the uh, ring modulation. So if you just take this damage type to modulate, you can see here it says ring and frequency for P1 and P2. Now, a, a quick explanation of ring modulation. It's technically, it makes another version of the input signal, filters and compresses it, and then multiplies it by the original signal. This can give some harsh resonant ringing effects. Now, the P1 knob here controls the ring, which is the resonance applied to the filter, the filtered version of the signal, and the P2 knob controls the frequency, which Shokara is the filter frequency of the filtered version of the signal. Don't worry if you don't understand that. All you need to know is that it just gives this awesome tone when it's used right. I've got P1 at about 5 eighths and take the P2 knob down just about a quarter and that just gives this nice distorted overtone to it. I've left the cut and body because I think it sounds cool as, that, as it stands there. Um, okay, now lastly we'll be bringing up that harsh tone a bit more with a bit of EQ. So right click Scream 4, click Create and go to M class equalizer. Now I've done two things here. Um, to bring up the bass end a little bit, not too much, because the most the majority of this effect is actually in the kind of mid to high end. So we just want a little bit extra gain in the low end there. But the main thing we want here is if we click param one or param two, um, just turn up the gain to about three quarters. Turn the Q right down and turn the frequency to around 2 kilohertz. You can really hear that cutting through now, can't you? So if we put that back in the mix. QStorm Itch teaches us the basics of EQing using FL Studio. So let's start just tweaking the default here. What you're seeing down here is the resulting curve after it's gone through all of these different filters. Now you can change your filters right here. If you look up at the hint menu here, you're going to be able to see exactly what they are. The notch, we have all the passes, etc. All kinds of fun. Primarily though, you'll leave it on a peaking so you can pull it up and down, etc. Now here, we can adjust the frequency of any of these and the bandwidth. Make it narrow or very wide. 
Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you found these videos insightful. And remember, you can always get in touch with any of our content producers. Just email their name at Wingsound and they'll get right back to you. Yeah, and same thing goes for us. I think at Wingsound, Rick at Wingsound, make sure you hit us up. And of course, don't forget to sign up for the Wingsound podcast available now on iTunes. You'll be able to stay up to date with the latest releases coming out of Wingsound Studios. Just search for it on iTunes and sign up. It's free, so you'll love it. And for more music production videos like these, of course, check out the new social video network for audio creatives. It's wingsound.com.